and thanks for tuning in to my channel. First of all, Happy New Year! This is my first video of 2019. I've been involved in a lot of different projects that I'm just waiting to upload so that I can share with all of you. So if you haven't subscribed already or if you're new to this, don't forget to do that because we do tons of great DIYs here every single week. So I look at my analytics every single year. At the beginning of the year, usually January, is where all the demand is for tons of wedding DIY projects and that's because all these wonderful brides or grooms or anybody else who's looking for DIY inspirations for weddings are doing it months ahead. So as promised, I always want to share my DIYs for my own wedding. Uh, you've seen a couple of them. If you haven't already done so, click in the cards up below and it'll show you a couple of them or even in the description box down below. But meanwhile, this is a super important DIY. This is the first thing that your guests will look at when, when they enter into the reception area because this is the seating chart. So hopefully you enjoy this DIY and let's get started. The first thing I had to get was an acrylic sheet. This was pretty expensive. This was $60. So the most expensive thing about this DIY and it's 24 by 48. And then this is the thickness of the acrylic glass itself. So from there, I added about two inches in length and cut two pieces of 26 inches in length of this lumber wood. It is about $8 for one that is eight feet so so you can definitely cut two pieces from there and also home depot cuts like the first four cuts for free so you can get it sized and measured to whatever length you want we had an extra one in the backyard at my uncle's house they always have like extra wood laying around so we had to sand it and if you want you can also paint or stain it's a different color now we put through a really big big screw this is not necessary so this is what it looked like before to put it together but all you really need to do is sandwich the plexiglass in between and then just screw it on once you're ready and that's basically it i did it on both sides and it held the acrylic sheet pretty well so that's really all there is to this DIY. Sorry I didn't get a chance to show you how I actually put it in between the boards, but you can take it in and out so long as you don't make it too tight. I actually had a calligrapher do the writing, otherwise I would have done it myself. I only had two days, so I was a little bit stressed out. I kept it pretty minimal on the day of the wedding, but you can add some flowers or some greenery around it. And here's some actual footage that my cousin took when she was doing a vlog for my wedding day. All right, so this is Clarice's signature. Yeah. Table, eight. Table eight. Table eight. Oh, your first one, Bradley. Beautiful. There you are. That was a super fast DIY. I hope that you enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments down below what you think of this. Or please share with me how you're going to be doing your own, your very own seating chart for your own wedding or whatever other events you are doing a DIY for. I love reading your comments, so don't forget to leave me something down below. And I will see you in the next DIY. Thanks for watching. Bye.